Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Honda Accord. Cars with manual transmission do not have any special weak points, but you will have to follow some trifles. For example, the supports of the power unit sometimes serve less than 100,000 km, but this is unlikely to be due to this quality. Rather, it is the style of operation that affects. After 150,000 mileage, you need to look at the oil level and the condition of the bearings. Noisy boxes are common, but the noise rarely gets to an uncomfortable level. The reason for it appearance is usually the wrong oil, its rare replacement or a decrease in level. And of course, the driver's love for driving at high speed. After a couple of hundred thousand kilometers, the wear of the second, third gear synchronizers begins to gradually affect the shift speed. But with some luck and decent maintenance, the boxes can cover three to five hundred thousand kilometers. The five-speed gearbox of the ARK57 series is slightly weaker than the six-speed AST5, but the resource mainly depends on the style of operation and maintenance and not the brand of the unit. The clutch is common everywhere with a damper and the flywheel is one piece, not dual mass. True, it is sometimes worn out and even overheated, but this is an almost inevitable risk for a driver machine with claims to dynamic. The machines on the Accord 7 are only 5-speed usually series MCTA or close to it, Baya, Maya or others. The units are undoubtedly reliable, and with good maintenance and in calm hands, before serious repairs, they can cross the line of 350-500 thousand kilometers. Unfortunately, there are more racers on the Accord than normal drivers, and box breakages are common. It's good that boxes, CRV and other quieter cars either fit here or are suitable as donors. The overrunning clutch of the first gear is traditionally damaged by those who like to get out of the car and drag racing fans who regularly overload the box with abrupt starts with slipping. Breakdowns of the drum of the third gear is another generic feature, and when buying, checking for the absence of slippage is mandatory. Usually drum problems begin after 150,000 runs and gradually progress, but the gearbox shifts normally under low thrust. Slipping is noticeable only with throttle to the floor, and especially when moving uphill. The electronics may not guarantee generate errors until the slip becomes apparent to the driver as well. Bearings and solenoids suffer mainly from untimely oil changes and overloading. After a couple of hundred thousand mileage, the bearings are most likely not in perfect condition, and a couple of trips at speeds over 160 can lead to noise. At this stage, repairs are still possible and the problem can be eliminated quickly and easily. While the noise is only on the move, you do not even need to remove the automatic transmission. Although it is desirable for cleaning, you just need to change the cover number 21240RCL110 with a built in bearing. Unfortunately, usually owners pull with the repairs, and as a result, the box body and shafts are also damaged. If brought to the appearance of shaving in the oil, then it can finish off the main pair and the differential, and the automatic transmission housing can literally be blown to pieces. The well body intensively collects dirt where the line pressure solenoids is mainly subject to wear. After 250,000 mileage, almost all box repairs should be carried out with flushing the well body and replacing its gaskets. With high mileage, it is worth replacing all the rubble, rubber elements of the box. If the machine doesn't have an external filter 25330PLR003, then you should install it. It significantly increases the service life of the box oil, and cutting it when changing the oil will allow you to notice serious problems in time. Other malfunctions are rare, and those that exist rarely lead to a complete failure of the automatic transmission immediately. On the Honda Accord, the machines are famous not only for their fairly reliable comparison, but also for their very low switching speed. Usually, a car with a 2-liter engine and a manual transmission is faster in acceleration to 100 than a third more powerful version with a 2.4 letter engine and an automatic transmission. Honda engines are traditionally considered incredibly reliable, and if I am quite ready to agree with this regarding the B-series, then Q-series motors on the Accord 7 are simply reliable, but nothing more. On the Accord 7 there are about 2 letter K20A4 and K20A6. On the Type R, the Euro R, there is a K20A, while 2.4 letter engines are K24A or K24A3. The engines are easy to maintain, they have a good resource, but they also have drawbacks. They are very demanding on maintenance, and with quite moderate mileage, they begin to consume oil. The resource of the exhaust camshaft is limited, and on older cars, it requires the use of more vis viscous oils than the standard SAE20. And the gradual spalling of the shafts leads to numerous additional breakdowns. 
In addition, there are regular complaints about oiling, a small resource of timing chains and leaks of the phase regulator valve. The resource of the catalyst is very small even without an oil appetite, and after hundreds of thousands in the conditions of cold Siberian winters, it can already begin to dust. A similar effect is produced by old and faulty lambda sensors or an unsuccessful crankcase protection. If the catalyst is not replaced or removed immediately, the piston group will suffer greatly. The torsion motor has a high load, which leads to severe wear of wings, pistons and cylinders, and when the slightest amount of abrasive appears, the piston group will wear out instantly. This motor needs constant monitoring, the oil must be changed regularly and at intervals of no more than 10,000. Low viscosity SA20 oils on engines with a mileage of more than 150,000 km are best replaced with at least SAE30 or SAE40, and for those who like to drive, and SAE50 oil. Honda's favorite bike about the fact that viscous oil kills engines is, to put it mildly, not true. Yes, the engine is designed for low viscosity oils, but it cannot live on them all its life, and more viscous oils do not harm it. They just require more warm-up and a little more fuel. On older cars, special monitoring is needed for oil leaks. Leaks from under the plastic valve cover and trifles are trifles, but leakage through plugs 1251-3P7203 is already more serious and endangers the life of the motor. Leakage through the gaskets of the IVTEC unit can literally leave the engine without oil in 10 minutes. If the engine is already worn out, it easily squeezes out the crankshaft oil seals at not only the front but also the rear. Renew the ventilation system, change the tubes and the PCV valve that are failing apart over time to sleep in the cylinder head. For a torsion motor with an excess of crankcase gases, this is very important. Pay particular attention to the 3616-2RAA01 valve, but do not forget about the isolation valves. Leaks of the cylinder head cover gasket lead to damage to the spark plug tips, which is not so dangerous but unpleasant. Replacing the casket can be a good reason to inspect the camshafts and the condition of the timing. In principle, the condition of the chain can also be assessed through the tensioner window on the front wall of the block, but it will not hurt to open the motor once again. Small cavities on the cams of the shaft are the alarming symptom. Rare products can cause trouble for the old pump and crankshaft, especially for those who like to turn a cold engine. First, the exhaust camshaft crumbles, then the intake crankshaft. They cost a lot, 30,000 each, and used ones are mostly remanufactured shafts with good mileage. Even for engines with minimal wear of with runs of 150 to 100,000 km, the oil consumption usually already exceeds a liter or two from replacement to replacement, and for the most stressed out it easily exceeds 05 liters per thousand km. And you can't get away with replacing the caps. So when buying an old Accord and the average mileage of cars before restyling is approaching 300,000, look first of all cars with Japanese contract or normally powered ones. The engine doesn't tolerate cheap oils, fillers and exceeding drain intervals, immediately increasing the oil appetite and threatening other troubles. It, especially the age one, requires qualified and thorough full service, and do not count on cheap contract units. Key series engines from Japan are very expensive, and besides, you can get on a motor that requires replacement of shafts and timing in the near future. On this information of the problems of Honda Accord is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.